this is, this is, this is. It's a blessing and a curse. I'm trying not to like date myself here, but, <laughs> but I mean, because I've, I've seen both sides. I mean, I saw the I saw the wave of it with the MySpace stuff, you know, because I was uh, still in high school and like what that did for you know that got my band major label attention that I otherwise would have not gotten at that time, you know. That was a rough time, though. I mean, I mean, you're you're talking what probably 2005, 2007. Yeah. I mean, that was right in there when it was hard in the music business. It, everything was eating itself. People weren't investing in technology yet. Yeah. Um, labels were not really signing new acts. You know. Um, yeah, I mean, they were was, signing a few things. You know, and they were they were only taking things that were. Had had like, and that probably actually is something that's carried over to now. But only taking acts that had a following that they the, the acts themselves have sort of cultivated um, yeah. a little bit before. Like, how many followers do you have on MySpace? You know? <laughs> yeah, that was. I mean, that was even because you know, like my my high school band. We did we did our like the first real record and last record we did. We, we did it at the Blasting Room. And I just remember talking with Bill then in 04, 05, just about the shift already starting to occur with budgets for what was like nothing a few years ago for, mm. you know, him not, you know, just how crazy it had gotten then. And I saw it with, even when we got the, the demo deal at, when I was out of high school, it was like, well, what's your touring experience? What are your touring numbers? I'm like, dude, we haven't toured. Like you, you know, this is, this band started a year ago and you guys are interested in it. And that was, it was there was always you know in that time it was always one thing or the other and mm -hmm. yeah people just I, don't want to record labels in general don't want to do the heavy lifting you know they want to just find oh here's this gem and they pull out of the, the yeah the rock. but I mean I see I see it from their perspective too and it, I mean it's our it's our curse now is that the mercy music thing is like if you can't prove that you're thriving on your own why the fuck would I want to spend any money on you. Mm -hmm.